What's going on everyone? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha and today I'm doing a review of a tobacco that I haven't smoked in a long time. The brand is Al Amir and I remember when I first started smoking tobacco and I used to only pick up from my local shop and all they had was Starbuzz and Al Fokker and I wanted to change it up. I found this brand Al Amir and I used to really like it. Um, the first impressions were it's a really nice container here as you can see. You can air seal it because it screws on nicely. And the cut was very similar to Al Fokker. So for me as a beginner smoker, I was like, okay, well this reminds me of Al Fokker and I'm pretty well versed of Al Fokker. Let's try it out. So as you can see here, it's a very vibrant red color, very finely chopped. And there is, I'd say quite a bit of stems, but because it's like finely ground up with the tobacco, I kind of don't really notice it, but I do can see the difference in coloration of the stems to the tobacco. And Al Amir, um, like I said, I haven't smoked this in many, many years, but I think George at Five Star actually recommended that I pick this up and on their website it's listed as a new flavor. This is Blueberry Jubilee and I used to smoke some of their berry flavors back in the day. I think I tried their banana strawberry. So this is probably four years revisiting this flavor and actually I asked my friend Muhammad who saw when I ordered it if he's tried it. He said he really liked this flavor. So what am I smoking out of? Today I am smoking out of my KM uh, Kamanja, my everyday smoke, using the Samsaris with the Cloud Lotus, using two titanium cubes. And I pack it just like I would pack any modern shisha, like I pack all Fokker or I pack Starbuzz, just slightly under the lip of where the lotus sits. I am using a thunder hose today, which I never use thunder hoses. This is my first thunder hose, and I've always loved the Starbuzz washable hoses, but as they do can tend to get shorter on me as time progresses, I figured I'd invest in this. It was a little more expensive, almost twice the price, and kind of test it out for you guys and let you know what I think about it. So, so far, so good with the thunder hose. Let's talk about the smell. So. Al Amir Blueberry Jubilee. So I'm expecting some sort of berry from this. Yeah, and I'm definitely getting that. It's, I'm getting some sort of berry notes. Um, from the smell, I can't really differentiate if it's a blueberry or what, but on the packaging, it shows kind of like a blueberry smoothie of some sort, and I see some blueberries on top, and it is a vibrant red color. So I'm guessing maybe some raspberries or something to get that red color, or it could just be a pitcher. How does that translate to the smoke, though? Let's see. Okay, so this is a wonderful flavor. I actually really enjoy this. Right from the beginning, I'm getting like a fresh blueberry, which is really hard to get from it. Most brands have that like candied, really sweet, overpowering blueberry. This is like a really light, fresh blueberry flavor, but you're getting sort of like a creaminess. And it's really weird because it is refreshing, but yet it's creamy. And a lot of times you don't get that kind of creamy flavor. It's not cold by any means. You're not really getting any cooling aspect to this, but it's still a light, refreshing flavor, which I really like. So Muhammad actually said this reminds me of, if you guys shop at Costco, Costco has this like the sundae and it's like a vanilla yogurt of some sort. And they put like this macerated blueberry compote on top and it has like raspberries or something in it. And that's what kind of what I get from this too. I get that sweetness and that creaminess from like a yogurt, like a vanilla yogurt. And I kind of get like that fresh blueberry taste. And I don't really get a vanilla from this, but there is a creamy aspect to it. So it kind of reminds me of that. My girlfriend who tried this out, she's like extremely picky. She doesn't like anything I smoke. Like every time I pack something, she has a problem with it. Today she actually really liked this. Like she smoked this and she said it kind of reminds her of like an acai berry. Those like acai berry chocolate covered things. Like if you take away the chocolate part of that and you get the creaminess from the chocolate, and you get those acai berries on the inside, that's what she's kind of getting from this. And I'm getting the exact same thing. I'm getting a creaminess, I'm getting that blueberry, and it is a really enjoyable smoke. In terms of flavor strength, I mean, Blueberry Jubilee has a nice, bold flavor, and you don't have to worry about it getting masked when you mix it. As a standalone flavor, it is really enjoyable, but if you like mixing, um, I really like mixing it with Wood Mint by Hayes. That buttery, creamy mint really complements the creaminess from this flavor. And I do about an 80-20 mix, uh, mostly Blueberry Jubilee with a little bit of Wood Mint in there. And I mean, it's just a really good smoke. I think that's going to be my smoke of the week. I smoked it yesterday. I smoked it the day before. I'm probably going to pack another bowl after this with the Wetter Mint. And I'm just, it's a really good smoke. So I'd definitely suggest packing a little bit of Wetter Mint if you like mixing. Um, in terms of like how long the flavor lasts though, I get two rounds of this. Um, I smoked it in the Goodfellow B3 yesterday. I got two rounds of just Blueberry Jubilee. And I mean, even on the second round, it was just hitting with big flavor. So all of me are Blueberry Jubilee. Um, thank you for the recommendation, George. I actually really like this. And to talk about the price though, this is 10 bucks for 250. So take my suggestion, order some. I picked up from Five Star. I noticed that most of your um, vendors are gonna carry it. I know the hookah.com carries it. Um, 
I think Hukashisha carries it, the Hookah Company, they all carry this. So pick up from your local vendor, you will not be disappointed, and it's 10 bucks. This is a great value shisha. I mean, 10 bucks for 250, that's almost unheard of other than like Knox and Alfocker. So it's pretty good, and it is a wash tobacco technically as we have gone into that. So I'm not really getting much of a buzz from this, but it's really good smoke. I mean, I'll show you guys some clouds now so you can see the cloud output. And this is after about 30 minutes of smoking, and I'm still getting full flavor strength. Take heats well, I'm not really getting any burning flavor. It's overall a really good smoke. Highly suggest you guys check it out. Like I said, I picked them up from mine for five star, and it's, I mean, definitely worth every penny. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.